Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see about contents of posterior triangle of neck. Posterior triangle of neck is subdivided into two triangles, upper occipital triangle and lower subclavian triangle. Contents of occipital triangle. Remember arteries, veins, nerves, lymph nodes, arteries. Occipital artery, transverse cervical artery, veins, transverse cervical vein. Arteries, occipital artery, transverse cervical artery, veins, transverse cervical vein. Nerves, remember four nerves, spinal accessory nerve, C3 and C4 fibers, four cutaneous branches of cervical plexus, dorsal scapular nerve, spinal accessory nerve, C3, C4 fibers, four cutaneous branches of cervical plexus, dorsal scapular nerve. Next lymph nodes, occipital lymph nodes and lymph nodes along spinal accessory nerve. Contents of subclavian triangle, arteries, third part of subclavian artery, suprascapular artery, transverse cervical artery. Third part of subclavian artery, suprascapular artery, transverse cervical artery. Transverse cervical artery is present in both the triangles. Veins, transverse cervical vein. Lower part of external jugular vein, subclavian vein. Veins, transverse cervical vein, lower part of external jugular vein, subclavian vein. Nerves, roots and trunks of brachial plexus. You can see roots and trunks of brachial plexus. From the upper trunk, now to subclavius and suprascapular nerve. Roots and trunks of brachial plexus, suprascapular nerve. Now to subclavius. And from the roots, from the C5, C6, C7, long thoracic nerve arises. It is also known as nerve to serratus anterior. Long thoracic nerve also known as nerve to serratus anterior. Nerves, roots and trunks of brachial plexus, nerve to serratus anterior or long thoracic nerve, nerve to subclavius, suprascapular nerve. Lymph nodes, supraclavicular lymph nodes. Lymph nodes, supraclavicular lymph nodes. 